Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of my pickups for the month of May, so stay tuned. So I've got a lot of new items that I've received during the month of May. Uh, most of these are online pickups, so I thought I'd go ahead and just get started. Um, first up, I've got um, Justice League Apocalypse War on Blu-ray. And I also picked up the Target Exclusive Steelbook. I got the Onward Steelbook from Best Buy. And also, I got the Target Exclusive um, with the Gallery Book included. I picked up Birds of Prey, the Steelbook from Best Buy. Also, the regular Blu-ray release. And the Target Exclusive with the different um, slipcover. And also the 4K release. And then from Eureka, I got the Old Dark House. Heard a lot of good things about this one, so I wanted to pick that one up. And then the Thousand Eyes of Dr. Mabuse, which I've heard a lot of good things about. And lastly, from Eureka, I got um, the Quaidan Qui Qui um, series. Um, this one I just got in the mail, I believe, yesterday. Um, but I heard a lot of great things about this one. So looking forward to checking that one out. Then from Aero Video, I got the Solid Metal Nightmares um, box set. This came from Amazon. It's got several titles included with this one. And then from, I think, Kino Lorber, I got the Pink Panther box set, which has all of the Pink Panther um, volumes in it. Really nice set. I'm very happy to have that one. And then, let's see, from Paramount Presents, I got Days of Thunder Blu-ray release and also flash dance. So I really am enjoying these um, Paramount Presents titles. I believe the next one that comes out will be 16 Candles. Okay, let's see. We'll go through some of my still books that I picked up. I um, picked up Mandy, which I'm still going to be checking this one out, hopefully either tonight or tomorrow. I hope to watch this one for the first time. Heard a lot of great things about it. Then I got the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for the Blues Brothers, 4K release, um, Sonic the Hedgehog, which I really enjoyed, steelbook from Best Buy, and then from Target I did pick up the um, Hunger Games Blu-ray release in this nice box set, which contains all of the Best Buy exclusive um, steelbooks that were previously released. So I got that. <clears throat> Some regular Blu-ray releases, I got the Rhythm section. Saw the um, theatrical trailer for this one. It looks really good. Never really heard of this one until I read um, some details about it on Blu-ray.com. Seems like it's going to be a really good movie. And then I did recently pick up the Walk um, Fear of the Walking Dead Season 4 along with Season 5. I am still watching The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead, so very nice to continue to have these released on Blu-ray. And then I got um, Brahms' the, um, the Boy 2. I got The Boy, the original The Boy. Um, never saw it, but when I saw that they had the sequel out, I went ahead and got it. Haven't really heard many good things about it at all, So, um, but I did want to go ahead and just add it to the collection since I had the first one. I also got I Still Believe. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. Um, but haven't seen it yet. And then Arkansas. Really looking forward to checking this one out. Heard some great things about it. I got Gretel and Hansel. Not very familiar with that one. And The Lodge. Now from Shout Factory, I picked up um, a Midnight Clear. This is from the Shout Select um, line but a Midnight Clear, Before the Devil Knows You're Dead, and also from the Shout Select line, the first 4K release, The Deer Hunter. 
Now I've never seen the Deer Hunter and I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. Got a lot of nice um, special features on it. And then also from Shop Factory I got Escape from LA. The Collector's Edition. The Evil Frankenstein. And also I got Idle Hands. Now some 4K releases that I got this month. I got Zombie which was just recently released. I got Sonic the Hedgehog, just the regular 4K release. The Blues Brothers. And then I got War of the Worlds, starring Tom Cruise. Top Gun. Days of Thunder which I just watched a couple of days ago. I um, really enjoyed it. The Invisible Man, which I haven't seen yet. It's on my watch list. 47 Ronin, which I enjoy. Still waiting on the steel book to be delivered from Best Buy. For whatever reason, it's been held up. The Mask of Zorro. And lastly, I got Maniac. So those were all my pickups. I do have a few items that I'm still waiting on to be delivered that were ordered during the month of May. Um, and I may have gotten a few items from eBay that I didn't show in this particular video just because there are just some titles that I was trying to fill in um, some of my collection. But overall, a very busy month in the month of May. Hopefully June won't be as busy and that I will be able to get a little bit of breathing room from purchasing so much, um, hopefully. But yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about these pickups for this month of May. Let me know what you were able to pick up during the month of May. I really do enjoy reading your comments and seeing what all you were able to get. But thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. So you can find me there, and we will see you next time.